Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, aka Stitcherista here on YouTube, and today is Monday, April 15th. So this is going to be a stitch with me while I talk about the retreat that I was at this weekend. And I wanted to show you the progress I've made on uh, Lavender Mist by Mirabilia. I feel like I haven't gotten a lot done, but I think I have because... When I was there, somehow over here, I had messed up. I had like stitched an entire extra section and I figured it out there. So on Saturday, I spent a good chunk of time ripping out what was extra and then restitching to make sure I had it correct because I was going to fudge it. But I couldn't. It was just too far. I mean, it was almost like an entire extra 10 by 10 square. And I'm like, I can't fudge that. I would be fudging it all the way down. But I mean, I stitched all of this there. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like I, I got quite a bit done. So before I started stitching again, I wanted to show you guys that because then I'm going to put the pattern back up here so I can continue to move around and I think I'm going to start here I'm going to stitch this section next and just move my way down so I left on Thursday I was off work Thursday and Friday they had a job on Thursday but not one on Friday which made it a little bit easier when I came back yesterday because I didn't have too much to have to catch up on. All right, let me see. Okay, I'm it. What's that symbol? Z. Okay, so yeah, I had packed my big stitching bag because my initial thought was I wanted to take the scroll rod and I wanted to take my grip it clamp that I bought. So I had packed like my big Vera Bradley stitching bag. And then I had also brought my suitcase. And then I also brought my another bag that had Lacey's birthday present, the diamond painting I was giving uh, that Cindy bought from me. And then I had a small cooler because I brought food. I brought food and soda and because my intention, and I say that, was to eat just, you know, lunch there every day and just buy dinner out. Well, that all went out the window. And, you know, this retreat was sort of a learning lesson as far as how much to pack, what to bring. I know myself, all of that. So I left at a reasonable time on Thursday. I left... I got there at 12 in Ocean City, which was, you know, usually I'm getting there at like 2 o'clock, 2.30, something like that. So that was a good time to get there. And my room wasn't ready yet, so I just brought all of my luggage and my bags and stuff in the stitching room because the stitching room was pretty big and I just put it up against the wall. And then I sat down said hi to everybody, got my stuff situated. And my room was ready in like an hour after that, so not too bad. So then I went upstairs, got all my stuff unpacked, came back down, and just, you know, saw everybody, stitched, talking, laughing, you know, all the normal stuff. And I only brought this project because my plan was to get some serious stitching done on it. I'm a one-at-a-time stitcher, I do not like to bring a bunch of stuff. Most other people bring a bunch of projects. Um, Lacey was the only one, I think, that really just worked on one thing. I didn't really walk around and see. I mean, I'm sure there were other people too, but. So, where do we go to dinner Thursday? We went to Southside Deli. I think it was called Southside. The last time we went there, I got their soft crab sandwich, which was so good. But I actually, this was like the only night that I was like really 
following my eating plan. I got mahi mahi over a Caesar salad. And Margot sat across from me at dinner. And uh, so I picked her brain a little bit about how she lost her weight. She has lost 125 pounds. I did not know it was that much. I was like, you go. Like, that is something. So had that for dinner. And then I went upstairs, I want to say, at like 10 o'clock to my room. I am always very exhausted when I come back from those retreats. And Jill made a good point because I just talked to her right before filming this video. She's like, well, you know, you're around people all day long and you're like on, like you're talking, you're socializing. She's like, we're not really used to that. And she's right. I mean, I work at home and all day long, I don't see anybody until Bill comes home. So that made, it's draining, you know, it's exhausting. So Thursday goes by. Um, you know, there, the hotel was busy during these couple of days. And so I didn't really sleep that well any of the days because my room was right off of the elevator. And it seemed like every night I was woken up at like two in the morning by people coming in, screaming, screeching, talking in the hallway. And it's like, really? And then, uh, the trash truck would be out there at like six fifteen in the morning, clanging the banging the, um, the big bins and yeah. So, and I don't sleep well when I'm away from home anyway, you know, as most people I think don't. So, and my, and dummy me forgot to turn my alarm off for the days I was there. So my alarm was going off at 4.15 every morning because that's the normal time I would get up. The only time it didn't go off was Saturday morning. So woke up on Friday and Cindy and I Friday and Saturday went to Starbucks in the morning, got coffee and I decided I was going to get my cappuccino with two pumps of mocha. You know, my original intention was to stick to my plan and get just black coffee and just get half and half in it or whatever. The cappuccino was good until Sunday. So then for lunch, I actually had a Chick-fil-A sandwich and a diet lemonade, which was delicious. And then dinner on Thursday, no, dinner on Friday, we went to, now Thursday was Lacey's birthday. Dinner on Friday, we went to, where the hell? Oh, dinner, okay, dinner on Friday is dinner normally at the hotel. Well, Cindy and I decided that we wanted to go to a Mexican restaurant called Poncho and Lefties. That is fairly new there in Ocean City. 10 out of 10. It was so good. I got their tacos and their hard shell tacos. The shell was really thin and crispy, not greasy. 10 out of 10. It was so, so good. And, you know, it was good to go with Cindy one-on-one -on -one because, you know, you're able to talk about different stuff one-on-one -on -one than with a whole group. So it was good. We had a good time. So we came back and then, you know, stitched the rest of the night. And when I talked to Bill Saturday morning, oh, okay, so th let me backtrack. Thursday night, remember, I had brought my Grip It stand and had my scroll rod and everything. Well, the way the table is set up, I had to have my floss on the table and my pattern, not my pattern, but my, um, like my key. And I was bending over so much to get new floss because there's a bunch of color changes in this that at the end of the night, my back was killing me. And I was like, okay, well... I'm going to have to figure something else out. Well, I didn't bring a hoop or a cue snap or anything like that. So Friday morning, I had asked Sandy, one of the ladies that was there, I gave her a 20 and I said, you're going to the store. I didn't feel like going to the Salty Yarns because I knew I would spend more money. And it's time. Like it's, it's not right down the boardwalk anymore. It's, you know, it's about a 10, 20 minute ride now. And I said, can you pick me up an 11 by 11 cue snap? I was just going to hold it in my hand and stitch. And that's what I did the rest of the weekend. 
And so she was able to get that and I was very grateful. And my back didn't hurt like that the rest of the time because I was able to scoot closer to the table. I put the pattern on my magnetic board that I had, had my floss right there. Plus, I was able to be closer to the table for us to talk because the way the room is set up, it's only, it was supposed to be 28 ladies and it wound up only being like tw like 21 or something. A couple people had to go home for different things. And everybody can hear your everything in there. Like you can have a conversation and the whole room can hear you. That's how small it is. So sometimes you don't want the whole room to hear what you're saying. Um, so that's how I stitched the rest of the time was on a Q-snap. And so that was a learning lesson. Like when I go in July, because I go in July to the Stitch New Jersey retreat, and I also got to use my Halo Glow Light for the first time, and that's magnificent. My power bank that I bought charged it the entire couple days. Fantastic. I charged my power bank one time overnight and it lasted the whole other two days. Amazing. Truly, truly amazing. So, um, but yeah, the good thing is though, too, I was able to, you know, I didn't have to do a pin stitch or anything to end the threads because I was able to just turn over the piece, the Q-snap in my hand. If you saw what I just did, I just pulled the thread out. Instead of doing a pin stitch, I just pulled the thread out here. So when I get to that spot and go over that, it will anchor that thread and then I'll just be able to snip it off. That's another way you can end your thread too. When I'm using this, I don't like to flip it over. Okay, so That was Friday. And so Saturday morning, now I talked to Bill each morning before I would get ready and come downstairs. He says to me, you don't have any Margot stories? Like Margot usually love Margot, but she, I don't even know how to put this. She always has stuff that that's happened. Okay, that's a good way to put it. And I said, no, everyone's been pretty calm. Like everything's been pretty calm. The universe said, hold my beer. Let me tell you. So I go downstairs. And when we went to dinner, so yeah, I had tacos. And then Saturday we went to Bull on the Beach. And I got crab dip, which was actually really good. So I told everybody, I said, you know, Bill was like, why don't you have any stories to tell me? And I told him, well, we still have today. We still have one more day. Let me tell you. The gates like unleashed. So the two best stories of the things that happened, because like all this stuff happened in the span of like two hours. And Cindy went to the stitching store and then she went shopping. She was gone for quite a while. And I was joking with everybody. I said, Cindy's going to come back and be like, what did I miss? And I'm not even going to know where to start. Not even going to know where to start. So Lacey started like writing down some of the things that happened so I could have a refresher in my brain. We were laughing so hard. So it seems like every time we have this retreat, something happens in the elevator. There are elevator stories. So this time, Alda, who is the organizer of this whole thing and who is a wonderful lady. I really enjoy talking with her and she comes in and she's like, I have an elevator story. Well, everyone puts down their stitching. We're ready. She says she gets in the elevator and someone, a gentleman gets in with her and then a maintenance man for the hotel gets in with her. Now the stitching room to give you kind of proximity, the stitching room is on the ground floor. When you come in, you have to go to floor one to check in. The lobby of the hotel is on the first floor. So twice when I was out in the, so when you walk out of the stitching room, there's like a little sitting area. And that's usually where I go to talk to Bill because I don't need to be talking to him loudly in the stitching room. So when he calls, I excuse myself, I go out there. 
two times I told people where to go check in because people come in and even though there's a big sign on the wall, people don't read or see it. So they look perplexed. They look confused. So they're like, where's the lobby? And I that was happened twice. So Alda says she gets in the elevator. Now, most of us stay on four, five floor, four, five, six or seven. I don't know what floor she was on. I think Alda was on four where I, I was staying on the same floor. So she gets in the elevator at the ground floor. She's going up to four. The maintenance man gets in with her. And another gentleman gets in with her. Well, the maintenance man is getting off at one. So he gets off. And she says, the gentleman turns to her and says, I think I'm in the wrong hotel. We all lost it. Like we busted out laughing because I did not expect her to say that. And I thought, that poor guy, what elevator was he supposed to be in? So that was that story. And then Margot says, I have an elevator story. And then we're like, why didn't you tell us this yesterday when it happened? But whatever. She says she gets in the elevator, and when she gets in, there's already a gentleman with, like, you know, one of those wheelie carts that you put all your luggage on if you have a bunch of luggage. She says the elevator goes up, and the gentleman goes to get off, and she's like, sir, you're leaving your luggage. And he's like, that's not mine. What? Whose luggage is it? Well, come to find out, it was a guy who had, I think his wife was in a wheelchair. So he was getting her in the room first, and then he left the luggage in the elevator or something. It was so funny, though, because I wasn't expecting her to say that either. Well, then the other story that, that happened, when you walk in the stitching room, there's like a little alcove there. That's the best way to describe it. And there is now the hotel is Howard Johnson. So the, you know, the logo for the hotel is like blue and orange, blue, orange and white. When you walk in the stitching room, the alcove there, there is a, a Lego thing on the wall that depicts the logo. That's the best way that I can say it. And I mean, we've been coming there like eight years or something, I want to say. Yeah, it's been eight years because I remember I was just going through like cancer treatment or I was done and my hair was growing back. So it was the year. So 2018. So maybe not eight years for me, but so six years for me. Anyway, one of the ladies come in and she's like, I never noticed before that that was Legos. Well, I'm not sure why that caught all of us so funny because we've looked at that so many times. I mean, you come in that stitching room a billion times during the day. Well, then Margot pipes up and she's like, what? It's Lego. So she goes out there to look at it and she comes in and she's like, oh yeah, I noticed that. She goes, I didn't really like the technique. Well, we all busted out laughing because what technique is there for Legos? And it, and it was, it you had to be there for that one. It was really funny. It, it really, so now Every time, like, I walked in the stitching room one time, and I'm like, you know, that's Legos out there. We, we just were dying. But it was like all this stuff happened. I mean, and, and I was like, everyone was like, wow, when you talk to Bill tonight, we're going to say you put it out into the universe that nothing was happening. And then everything started happening. And, uh, you know, that's what makes those retreats fun, though, is those kinds of stories and things that you can remember at the next time you go. So Saturday, I wound up for lunch, I wound up getting a hamburger from up at the hotel restaurant. And I wish I would have had it cooked more. I had said medium well, and it was pretty rare. I didn't mind it. It still was good. But next time I know I'm going to say well done. I like the hamburgers there. So yeah. So a couple learning lessons from the retreat. Well, so then I left Sunday morning at 6.30 a.m., 7-ish, and I was home by 9, so I was home pretty quickly. There wasn't a lot of traffic, 
So I, st- I decided to stop at Starbucks and get one more cappuccino on the way out because there was a Starbucks on the way out. It was horrible. It was like so much milk in it. It tasted just like hot milk. So I didn't even drink it. And I was like, okay, if I see a Dunkin' Donuts, I'm going to stop because I like Dunkin' Donuts as well. So I wound up stopping. It was a little ways, but I was falling asleep. I rolled my window down, was really tired. And so I wound up getting two glazed donuts because, you know, donuts is not on my eating plan. Two glazed donuts and a cappuccino, which was, and there it's like you get mocha swirl. It was delicious. It was one of the best coffees I've ever had. And in New Jersey, when I go, there is a Dunkin' Donuts that is literally like two minutes from the hotel. You walk around the corner, it's right there. I get coffee there all day. I drink a lot of coffee when I'm in New Jersey. So... Yeah. So learning lessons. One, I don't have to pack that big giant stitching bag anymore because I'm going to be working with a Q-snap because in New Jersey, you can't plug in any lights. So my light with the power bank is going to come in handy and I will probably still be working on a Mirabilia. I don't, I'm hoping it's not this one, but given that we're in the middle of April, it may be, I don't know. Who knows? I might still be working on this one. So I had a couple people at the retreat too ask me about what I'm going to do as far as the beads. Well, I'm going to try putting like a piece of felt or something to protect the beads in between the Q-snap clamp and the beads so they don't snap off. Hopefully they won't snap off. I'm going to try to finish these two stitches. I got two stitches and I have a T. It's like playing thread chicken here. So that was one learning lesson. I don't have to pack that big stitching bag. I'm not even going to be bringing that bag. I'm going to be bringing the tote bag because everything fit in my small tote bag for stitching. And then the other thing was I'm not packing food. I might pack diet sodas to drink in the room at night. But as far as food... I'm not, I'm just going to eat stuff there. It, it, it will negate me bringing a cooler. So I won't have to carry that. And I didn't wind up eating half of the stuff anyway. I wound up, I'm just going to go off plan for those couple of days. It's fine. So when I weighed myself this morning, I was only up 0.4. That's like nothing compared to, I thought it was going to be like one or I thought it was going to be like two pounds or something. But no, 0.4. So, yeah, those two learning lessons. And I wind up to, you know, I bring all my face stuff that I use at the house. And then I wind up just wiping my makeup off with a makeup wipe at night. So I'm not bringing all of that stuff either. I mean, it's crazy the amount of products that I use, makeup and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, not not bringing all that craziness all that stuff with me it's cuckoo because then when I come back I gotta unpack and put it all away so yeah I got back at nine o'clock and what's that symbol and I had work stuff to do banking stuff to do unpack my bag a whole crap ton of laundry because I had like a whole two days of laundry to do Bill's laundry my laundry Unpacking my bag, I took a shower, you know, I was in pajamas all day. I wound up Instacarting groceries. There was no way I was going to the grocery store. So I dealt with that. And then by the time I was done, and I also did my fingernails and I did my toenails. So using Color Street on my toes, it'll last like three months. And it had been a while. So I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and just do those. So I did that. And by the time I was done all that, it was like two o'clock, I want to say. And remember, Bill works six to six on Sundays. So I just went downstairs, turned on Netflix. I've been rewatching Grey's Anatomy. And I took like a tiny, tiny little cat nap, like probably 20 minutes. It wasn't even anything. And I just relaxed. Um, I didn't read the whole time I was at the retreat. 
I started reading my hold came in at the library for Alex Michelides, The Fury. I didn't like it. I started reading it and I read a good bit and I don't like it. So not reading that. Um, I started reading this morning, Mary Kubica's, I have the sample, Mary Kubica's She's Not Sorry. I have read every book that Mary Kubica has written. Love her writing style. And so that one seems good. Like that one's caught my interest. So I am probably going to read that one. I haven't read a book in a while. It has been a hot minute. But yeah, so I like I said, I'm off work today. Working Tuesday, Wednesday. So far, I'm sure something will come in Thursday and Friday. Next week, I'm going to actually be off of work to, uh, Tuesday through Friday. Um, Tuesday, we are actually going up and signing retirement papers for Bill because he's retiring from the county August 1st, but he already has another job lined up. He just wants to be able to get a pension and he has to do something. So, but yeah, we have to go do that. And then he's going to try to get my car in the shop because if you remember last summer, my air conditioning went up and it was like a widespread thing and we never got it fixed. The part was on back order for months and we are approaching like the time where it's going to be getting hot. So um, we got to get that fixed and we have to drive it like 40 minutes away. Like it's, we have to drive it to Laurel. So I said, you know, ideally it would be when, um, I'm off work because it's a hassle to have to drive it up there and then bring it and then go back and pick it up. And I'll be without a car for a day or two. So, but that's what we're going to do this week. I mean, next week, I'm sorry, next week. So, um, yeah, that's what's, that's what's happening. I haven't diamond painted. It's like I get into these things where it's like I only diamond paint or I only cross stitch. And right now I'm just in the phase of, I just want to stitch. Um, a new Mirabilia came out today because a new one comes out on the 15th of every month. It's really pretty. It's a mermaid. Jill really liked it. She sent me the picture. Because for some reason, okay, here's a little question. There's two Mirabilia groups that are like the main ones. One is called Mira Madness and the other one is called Mira Mira on the Wall. I belong to the Mira Mira on the Wall one. The Mira Madness one I missed a stitch there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I meant one, two, three. Okay, I was stitching this wrong. This shouldn't be here. Um, it's really easy to get to like miscount. Oh my God. Cause I already completed that one. So then it should only be, this shouldn't even be there. Okay. Danielle, I'll get it together here. Um, I have to like get that thread out of there without flipping it over. Okay. Um, for some reason I can't find that mirror madness group when I search or Jill tried to invite me and it wouldn't let me let her invite me. And she was like, well, one reason is you could be blocked. And I'm like, but why would I be blocked? I never hardly even posted in those groups. So what I actually wound up doing was I wound up messaging one of the admins from Mirror Mirror on the Wall because 
those people belong to those groups as well and asking, is there a way you can invite me or somehow to the Mira Madness group and trying to find out what's going on. So we'll see because um, I would I would like to be a member of that other group. Oh, but I did want to show you before I sign off, when I got home, you know, I had mail and I had my Bella Filipina patterns came in. Wait a minute, let me complete this before I get off track again. But yeah, my Bella Filipina patterns came in and so did the Dreamer that I got off of eBay. And I think someone found me Villa Mirabilia. Vicky Texera, one of my subscribers, messaged me and said, something's coming in the mail to you. So very excited because if that is coming, oh my my, going to be very excited for that. So I will let you guys know if that's what it is. Um, but yeah, I got my order in from 123 Stitch. They ship pretty quick. We were talking about them at the retreat that I love that they show you what's in stock. And if it's out of stock, they won't even let you order it. They only let you, you know, you can get like on an email list to be able to, um, be notified when it comes back. Now, the only downfall to stitching on Ada that is softer is that you can enlarge the holes very easy. And I've done that in spots, but I'm not even worried about it. I mean, you can see right there where I did it. If you pull, if you're a if you're a tight thread puller, you can distort the fabric. So while it's nice to touch and work on, it is nicer to work on Ada or Aida, however you like to say it, that is stiffer. But it is nice too when you're doing partial stitches to be able to pierce the center of the fabric. Okay, so let me just keep that there and show you guys. I put them right here by my stitching station so I could show you. Here is the Dreamer. So pretty. Absolutely love this one. And for this one, I would even probably stitch the scroll work around it. And there's only two beads, no, tre no petite treasure braid, or no like sparkle braid. It's just two bead colors, that's it. Lots of colors, as you can see. A lot, a lot, a lot of colors. And then the Bella Filipina, this is Hummingbird Pixie. <gasps> Don't you just love the colors? And her face, it, it's so gorgeous. I love the colors. Lots of colors, lots of beads, lots of sparkle braids. So this one just is like bling, bling, bling. And you can see 153 by 225, and this was done in 2021. Really, really pretty. And I like that... So it's on like regular computer paper and it's in pages. So it's easier to put, you know, to follow the pattern and make copies, you know, working copies. And then, so I tore this and I was so mad when I, it was in plastic. And when I ripped the plastic off, it ripped it. I was like, God damn it. So this is Holly Berry Pixie. Again, another gorgeous one. Absolutely love the reds and pinks. And I'm pretty sure that this is on um, Fiberlicious fabric. I will probably stitch it on this pink. It looks really, really good on that. This is on a Be Stitch Me. I'm pretty sure. This one's on a Be Stitch Me fabric. And I don't really like that color. I'll figure out something for sure. But um, what I might do is just order the fabric. When I order for this one, order for this one. That way they'll come at the same time. But 
yeah, love, love, love this one. And this one came out in 2022. But yeah, really, really pretty patterns. And so absolutely love those. And I'm sure I will. Oh, Pas Passione Ricamo is another one that does like really big fairies and stuff. Cindy actually bought one of those from Salty Yarns. And, um, you know, always trying to find designers that are like Mirabilia, right? But okay, guys. So yeah, today I'm off. I'm still in pajamas. I didn't wake. I woke up at eight o'clock, talked to my dad, talked to Bill, and then got up and was doing some stuff and decided to get this video filmed before I get myself dressed and up and about, you know. So I hope you all enjoyed hearing a little bit about the retreat. It's always so much fun. I highly recommend if you're able to go to one to go. Um, for me, I have to be able to drive it. I don't want to be flying and doing all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend. It is nice to be around like-minded people and stitchers and you get to see everyone's projects and um, New Jersey is a whole different ball game than the other ones, the, you know, the ones in Ocean City I go to. First off, it's a bunch more people it's like a hundred people at the New Jersey one. And it's just a completely different atmosphere. The ladies that sit at my table are wonderful at both retreats. Um, I'm really going to miss Terry this time. She's not coming to the New Jersey one this time. I'm going to miss her, miss her prayer. She led a prayer group every morning and that was really nice. And she was my... Dunkin' Donuts buddy, we would go and get coffee and just sit and chat. And yeah, I am I am really going to miss her this time. But I am going to be able to meet Sandra in person, so that's going to be exciting and be able to sit there and talk with her all weekend and enjoy meals with her and stuff like that. So, And then, of course, Cindy goes, and then I get to see Anne and her daughter Sherry and Anna. And Regina will be at our table. Like, it's going to be a really good time. And that will be here before we know it. I mean, this is the middle of April. That one is the middle of July. So that's only a few months away. And of course, then get to see Arlene and McKenna and a whole bunch of other people. So yeah, looking, looking forward to that one very much. So, okay, guys, I hope you all had a good week and weekend last week and that you have a good start to this week. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.